coming up, I compare the two giants of the Creed family, Green Irish Tweed and Aventus. Stay tuned. Welcome back everybody. This is Joel The Nose and today I'm going to be doing a comparison between the two beasts all-time classics from the Creed house and as I mentioned we have Green Irish Tweed and need I say more but Aventus uh, probably the most famous niche perfume, cologne, fragrance out there. Um, and I have to thank my good friend Marco, who let me borrow his two bottles. He's had these both for quite a while. Unfortunately, I don't have the batch number for this. Uh, he doesn't have the box anymore, and it's, it's worn off in the bottle. But uh, his Aventus is about probably five or six years old, and this is actually his Green Irish Tweeds of about ten years old. So he's had these a while. This is almost empty here. Um, no explanation is needed for Creed or, uh, you know, it's the legendary French niche uh, house, uh, Oliver Creed, uh, I think believes fifth generation family uh, in the perfuming business. And um, so this is, and it, he actually was behind Green Irish Tweed and his son who now is there uh, was responsible with his father and that was Erwin Creed, and so he's now part of the, uh, the family creating everything. So, again, I'm not even going to get into all the notes. I think everyone out there who's watching this video has probably either smelled both of these, owned both of these, worn both of these. I just want to do a quick comparison, uh, having both full bottles here, and uh, give you my impression. So, first, I will do... The Father, this is from 1985, Fougere. It's a Fougere fragrance, men's fragrance, green Irish tweed. Uh, it's been copied so many times. Let's uh, give a spray here. Okay. Put it back so you can <laughs> see it there. Okay, This the smell, it's very nice. For something that came out almost 35 years ago, I've got to say it smells like it could be released today. I, a lot of perfumes that came out in the 80s, whether it be Fahrenheit, Dracar, Polo, the original Polo Green, to me they smell dated. They smell like the 80s. Um, this does not. And I smell a lot of this on fragrances that you see out in the marketplace now. So this has been copied many times, maybe even copied more than Creed. I'm sorry, Aventus, which has been copied like, you know, over and over again. Very nice, sporty lemon. Uh, bergamot and lemon is at the top of, of the notes here, and you can smell that. Um, and it's kind of got a clean, masculine, soapy scent. I like soapy scents, so... Yeah, this it's it's very fresh, very nice, uh, very pleasant. I gotta say, at the top, I really enjoy that. So now let's go to Aventus, and I'm gonna spray that right here. Okay, not as. Um, not as citrusy. You, st you get the bergamot. So there, there's bergamot, but I don't, you know, Aventus, there's a lot, a lot of talk online about whether you get one that's more woodsy or more this or more pineapple. To be honest with you, I, I don't, to me, this is not pineapple. I love pineapple. I eat it all the time. Very few fragrances to me out there smell like pineapple. Obviously, this is more bergamot. It's more the black currant to me. Um, it's it's still obviously very nice. It's very good. But I'll, th this is my this is my analysis at the top. On the initial spray, the initial top notes, I like green Irish tweed better. To me, it's just classic. It seems like a good fall scent. I could be picture wearing a nice tweed, 
tweed jacket in the fall and it would be very fresh and clean and manly. Uh, the Aventus, again, is classic, but to me at the top, I like Green Irish Tweed. Now, having said that, I wore these all day. And as it dries down, I'm more of an Aventus fan. As it dries down, the, the Green Irish Tweed was very linear, linear to me and it just didn't, it didn't sit as well on my skin. The Aventus dried down into a really nice, as it kind of goes into that mid note, uh, which is the birch and the patchouli. It gets very dry, but uh, sweet on my skin. Not overly sweet, but just a nice, dry, sweet, masculine scent. So I liked the Aventus better on the dry down. Both of these, I have to say, average sillage and projection. So even though I sprayed my normal sprays, which is on inside of either elbow, the back of my hand, either side of the neck and back of the neck. Normally that gives me a good sillage, so when I'm kind of turning my head, I'm getting the fragrance surrounding me for at least two or three hours on a niche, good niche brand. I didn't get that a lot here, maybe an hour up to two, but definitely not two or more than two hours. And the projection on my skin, for whatever reason, also was not very beast mode. I don't love beast mode, but this was, um, I would say probably both of them were very similar I got a little bit more projection from the Aventus. Um, that one maybe about 10 inches off my skin. The other, the, the green tweed was only maybe about seven or eight, six to eight. Um, and again, the as far as longevity, they both were about the same. I would say uh, on the green Irish tweed, I got about, I only got about five to six hours on my skin. It was a skin scent again after two hours. Uh, same for Aventus, a little bit longer. I got about seven to eight hours. So I look for a little bit more, you know, from a high-end fragrance like this. Um, the skin scent again on this, on the Aventus to me, was beautiful. It's one of my favorites I've had recently on, on the actual skin as it dried down. But I'd like a little bit more longevity. But that's okay. So you spray it again, you know, you update it after maybe four or five hours, for again, on my skin. So uh, there you have it. The... Aventus versus Green Irish Tweed. And I guess I would call it a tie or a draw because I liked the initial, uh, you know, the initial top notes, initial spray for about the first hour. I preferred Green Irish Tweed, but after about an hour and a half, as the dry down started in, into the mid and base notes, I preferred Aventus. Look, they're both classic. You can't go wrong with either one. And I think Everybody should have one in the collection. So that's it. This is Joel the Nose. I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank you for uh, those of you who have subscribed. And if you're considering, I would really appreciate it. Because subscribe over here, like my cup says. Comments, likes, appreciate them. And hope everyone's having a great day. And we'll talk to you soon.